There is this prevalent opinion that learning Mandarin Chinese is the most difficult language to learn for Westerners. But this isn't entirely accurate. Most studies on the subject are based on estimates of learning the language to become fluent. Speaking and writing perfect Chinese is difficult for anyone, but you don't need to be fluent right away. Just learn to communicate first. Just learning enough to go to a Chinese-speaking country and start having conversations is not that difficult. People are generally introduced to Chinese immediately with pronouncing tones and a lot of foreign characters. We're not going to do that. Yes, those things are important. We will be practicing some pronunciation without letting it get in the way of our true focus, which is to teach you patterns. Patterns are the building blocks of language. Children learn language through pattern recognition, not strict rules and memorization. But adults understand deeper meaning and can apply pattern recognition to more abstract concepts. So we're going to combine these two methods and teach you Mandarin Chinese. Mandarin Chinese has the same basic structure as English, so let's start here with this orange. I eat oranges. 我吃橙子. So far, the word order is the same as English. Subject, verb, object. We can replace these words with other verbs and nouns and it would still generally be valid. You drink water. 你喝水. You eat oranges. 你吃橙子. So you can note here there is no plurality. Chinese is a very strong analytic language, which means it doesn't morph words. Therefore, there is no plurality, conjugations, or general rules to learn. This makes it pretty easy, right? Let's change the sentence some more and introduce the copula to be. He is American. 他是美国人. So the word for to be is 是. And the good news is that this is always the word you will use. In English, to be has many different variations, such as is, are, am, was, were. But in Chinese, to be is always going to be shi. This was one aspect of Chinese I was very happy about. But this verb is very important, so let's see it being used in more sentences. She is Chinese. Ta shi zhongguo ren. If you're observant, you may notice there is a different character or hanzi for she. But the pronunciation is the same, so it makes it quite easy if you're not worried about reading or writing Hanzi. Now let's say they are European. We are Australian. You people are Japanese. You might also notice there's a lot of consistencies between these vocabulary words. The words for people of a country are just the words for the country plus the character for the person. So taking off the last character, Ren, you'll now also know the word for that country. Although this is sort of true for English, you can see it's not as consistent. Also, the plural forms of pronouns are simple as you just add men at the end. So I becomes we as in wo becomes wo men. He or she becomes they as ta becomes ta men. And, and you becomes you people, or you guys, as in ni becomes ni men. Pretty great, right? Let's recap what we learned so far. Chinese, like English, follows the same subject-verb-object format. 我吃橙子. The copula to be is 是, and very easy to use because there's no need to conjugate. 他是美国人. Some characters are pronounced the same, but have different meanings such as he and she, ta and ta. It is easy to consistently form new words by adding characters such as ren and men to form new words. Zhongguo becomes Zhongguo ren and wo becomes wo men. This sums up the basic Chinese sentence structure. A large part of rewiring your brain to learn Chinese is to get used to this pattern and the sound of Chinese. So let's focus on that today. We're going to go through examples of this sentence pattern. Follow along and try to mimic the speaker as closely as possible. Just ignore the tones for now if you already know them. Focus purely on imitating the speaker. After this lesson, download the Enki deck and keep reviewing and practicing. Don't worry if you don't know or remember every single word. The vocabulary will sink in eventually if you are willing to put in the effort with the flashcards. So first, let your brain start reconfiguring itself for Mandarin Chinese. Ready to practice this pattern? Alright, let's go. 